Hey guys, this is Trevor. Going to do a quick overview of what I see for potentially happening t for tomorrow. Hopefully you, you enjoy my little uh, video I did on journaling. Um, I'll make this quick. Um, here, looking at the 82 th or 81,000 tick chart, uh, you can see we are sitting on top of this 1649 level. We are deeply oversold. If I uh, can't really draw a real trend channel here, so using a reverse trend line, you can see we did hit an oversold level here. Um, also, too, we have demand coming in today for the first time. Uh, this is the highest demand we've had since the top was put in back here around uh, August the 1st. So there's some sign of buying coming in. Also, too, if you look at the 16MA, generally I look, this, look for this for a sign maybe of a more uh, complex correction, which this is now doing. I think it's very possible we can come up and test the 16.70.5 level. Probably won't happen tomorrow, but maybe over the next few days it's very possible we can come up to that point. Um, still, a very bearish on the market. This ease of movement's pretty strong. But I really think it's possible we'll come up and test this area. David mentioned in his letter he felt that it was very likely we can go to 1670 and a half up to 1675 level he thought might be an area we can get to. At that point, definitely looking to go short. Um, also, too, uh, I've been learning a little bit more about the Taylor trading technique. It's a three-day cycle you looked for uh, to kind of timing to help time your trades and know when to get in and out of positions. Found it, uh, I learned about it from Linda Rashke's video and I subscribed to a few sites that offer uh, information on it and uh, I found it very useful over the last few days. Uh, I've been watching it for about a week but uh, not, without going too deeply into what each buy and day, uh, what each type of day means, I'll tell you what was expected based on the type of day it was. Yesterday, what, yesterday was considered a uh, sell short day. As you can see, it worked out pretty well. Uh, came down to this area. Today was considered a buy day. Generally, on a buy day, you look for the beginning of a new cycle, three wave cycle to the upside. Uh, the buy day being the first day of that cycle. When we got a rejection of the previous day's low, this is something I generally looked for anyways. Um, and also knowing it was a buy day, uh, and also knowing that we reached projected lows, I felt pretty confident taking a 310 oscillator buy trade here. Uh, as you can see, we had a violation of this trend channel. This con constituted change of behavior to me. Uh, also, we get a nice pullback. So I got long in here. Um, and took it up all the way to the projected level. Uh, the projected levels was up around in the 1656 uh, level. The 1657 level was the target uh, based on what an average buy day rally is. Um, and also, too, if you use the 70% uh, um, uh, or 70% of the trading happened yesterday, we were at the very top of that range right here. I took up my profit there. Got about eight and a half points on that trade. So it's been very helpful, uh, very useful for tomorrow. Uh, it's what's called a sell day. It sounds counterintuitive, but generally sell days can be up days as well. You can short on, an, on a sell day if we reject the previous day's high. So this is an area of resistance. If we come up here and reject it, I'll definitely look to go short. However, I'm expecting we could come down and test this area again. I'd look to go long there. If we violate yesterday's low and reject it, I'd look to go long as well again. Um, especially to uh, odds are um, we should uh, the high made on that we make on Thursday should be higher than this low so I'm anticipating we should be going out for the next couple days based on that so again I just use it for further context and verifying what I'm seeing with Wyckoff Wyckoff still the number one thing I look at it's just really nice to have some other thing uh, give you added target areas as well as uh, probabilities and Taylor they actually give you probabilities of penetrating certain levels uh, so I kinda like having that if it's if it's backing up what I'm seeing anyways that's it for today uh, good luck trading tomorrow